yeah, I guess, and, and as, as we're seeding, we kind of mentioned some soil temperatures, uh, you know, definitely some chilly temperatures when the seed was going in early April for my area. I think it was mm -hmm. zero when some of the drills were starting to tear up the soil. So do you guys have any preferred soil temperatures or any tips on taking that soil temperature? <laughs> to get that uh, crop right so it's not too uh, chilly? Yeah. Um... The fact that you're you're paying attention to soil temperature is is good because uh, it gives you a, a good understanding of what maybe may be going on. Um, I'm not the one farming. I'm not the one that has the acres to put in, so I, I don't I can't be too critical of of people that get going earlier because I understand there's a lot of uh, logistical challenges of getting all the acres done. So I can't really speak to that. Uh, preferably, the warmer the better. Um, there's a lot of stresses going on. Cold soils is a stress. And all of that. Uh, the other thing when it comes to cold soils is just the the nutrient availability, and and we can talk a bit more about phosphorus availability. But you're not really getting much uh, going on at that point when we're talking, uh, like I said, locally here, two degrees Celsius. Um, nothing's really available that that seed's going to struggle to even get started. But I do understand and appreciate when you got challenges of getting a lot of acres done with with minimal equipment. So. Um, and we know weather can change quickly and change for the worse for a week at a time sometimes. So you want to get in as much stuff as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, and I've, I've always used, you know, that five or six degrees as my, my starting point, whether it's right or not. But when I, when I work with producers, if I tell them six, they're going to start at three. So, uh, if I said three degrees, they'd, they'd be out shoveling the snow off. So, but it's, you know, some of the points we've mentioned where time is, is of the essence here and, and guys are wanting, they've got a lot of acres to put in. And so sometimes you trade off maybe starting a little sooner than you should, uh, just because of the volume of, of acres that you have to get covered. But, I, I would sooner see you start a degree colder than seed at a mile an hour faster. Just, you know, that's, it's a trade-off. Like we said, there's so many variables and everybody has a different idea of, of what's comfortable for them. Uh, farmers know their land better than we do. Uh, they've been farming it all their lives for generations. And, uh, you know, it, you know when it's time to go. And sometimes weather dictates that your your window of getting that crop in is narrower too. So that sometimes trades off. Maybe you have to sacrifice a few of the right decisions just to get it in on time.